As you know by now, I am a stickler about getting everything ahead of time. You know, it saves a lot of back and forth. So for this, you are going to have one and a half cups of heavy cream. Put that in a bowl. You're going to have two to three cups of coffee that you cooked this morning. You left it in a container on the counter to let it get cool. I use regular coffee. The Italians seem to think you need espresso. Totally up to you. Um, three eggs. I am going to separate them, yolks and the whites, in one of my three bowls. About a quarter cup of Hershey's cocoa. Five tablespoons of sugar. Two packages of Le Petit Beurre Butter Biscuits. That's one package open and that's the other. I use this brand called Lou because I am a loser, a loser. And then we got some dark chocolate. And since it's Italian, I picked up the Ghirardelli because I had it in my pantry. And you're going to take it out. That's a four ounce bar right there. I put it one on top of each other. And I just started slicing them, just kind of chopping them like that. And then you're going to use a hand mixer. We don't need to get that big screaming, honking red thing that weighs four tons. This will be just fine. So I just finished, you know, coarsely chopping that chocolate, and that's what it looks like. It doesn't have to be pretty. And then I separated my egg yolks from my egg whites. And notice, I put the egg yolks in the smaller bowl, the egg whites in the next size bowl, and the cream in the third size bowl. I am now going to take the mixer and I am going to mix the egg whites until they are peaked. Hopefully I don't have to show you how to beat egg whites. But if I do, send me a look. And here are your peaked egg whites. You know how you know they're peaked? You can almost turn them upside down and they don't fall out. That's peaked. Okay, now I'm going to do my egg yolk. Here are my egg yolks. And I'm going to add the five tablespoons of sugar. And now I'm going to beat these little egg yolks. And now we are going to fold the egg with the sugar into our egg whites. And when you fold, that means you pour it in. And you are going to slowly fold it just up and down with a spatula. Next, you are going to whip your heavy cream and make it whipped cream almost. And we're, here we have our whipped cream. And I suggest, since I have whipped cream all over me and it's all over the floor, to use a deeper bowl for whipping that cream because it does make a mess. But now I am going to fold the egg mixture into the whipped cream and then we will go on to making the fun. Now here comes the fun part. It's kind of like making a lasagna. We're going to do it in layers. We're going to get that cream and we're going to put it along the bottom of this 9 by 13 pan. And then I'm going to get these biscuits and I am going to dip them in the coffee. And then I am going to put it on top of the cream mix like this and do a layer across. So there's your layer of cream. And as you see, I totally submerge it in. It bubbles a little like I'm drowning it. And then I take it up. Oh, one broke. Not a problem. and do the camera at the same time. I'm looking for a videographer. So now I put another layer of cream on it. 
Okay, so I had the biscuits, another layer of cream, and now I am going to spread some cocoa. Just go in there. La 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 I can do the sign of the cross. Okay, like that. A little, a little more. Then I'm going to get the crushed chocolate. Take a handful of that. Spread that around. Okay. And now I'm going to dip the um, biscuits again and put it on top of that. So it's kind of like a lasagna. So it goes the cream, the biscuits, then cream, uh, cocoa, and the chocolate, dark chocolate, slivers, chunks, whatever. And we make layers. On to the next layer. Now, being that I am a good Catholic, I have to confess. I did two layers and ran out of my mixture. So I searched high and low in my refrigerator and, oh, I found some whipped topping. So I put it on top like this. And who the hell is going to know the difference? And then I am going to put more biscuits and hide my mistakes because as Julia says, you never let your guests know you first screwed up. So watch me fix this. So here, my readers, is the finished product. Even despite the little screw up, you find little things on hand, whether it's Cool Whip or the extra whipping cream that you have because you only used a cup and a half, and you just fix it. No one will ever know. You then cover it, put it in a refrigerator, and by tomorrow, it will be delicious. So it's our little secret, unless, of course, you're following this blog and you're going to the Italian dinner tomorrow night up in Torium. Otherwise, a bon air appetit. Until next time, Chef Bayard D2 with her red earrings, necklace, and new apron says au revoir. Adios. Ciao.